Hey everyone, look, it's me again. Look, I wanted to touch on a subject that um, is quite, it's sad for me, it's sad, because we get a lot of women all walks in life join our community, wanting to have a baby, and you know, for many of us, we need a bit of a kick up the butt to try and get it going. You know, there's always a delay, there's always that extra a holiday or someone's getting married and I want to look fit into a, a dress that I've got a plan to you know that an idea I want to fit into and obviously if I'm pregnant I'm not going to fit into that dress uh, you know so, and we also think we got you know a lot of time on our hands and unfortunately the saddest thing about running my group is when women find out they've left it too late and you know, uh, still this, still to this day, I get women join, and they're in their mid to late thirties and forties even, and uh, you know they're like, oh yeah, I'm looking at starting to try next year, or you know, many months away, whatever, blah blah blah. And I'm just like, okay, that's all good. Have you gone and seen a fertility specialist and? and got your eggs checked and you know it's just like I've seen people just hit that wall where they're no longer fertile anymore and then they want to try when they decided to try and then they try for a few months and then they go oh, hang on I'll go get fertility tested and then it's like boom boom um, they've missed the boat and you know um, going you know dealing with that psychological um, emotion that they're going through it pains me uh, you know it's sad because you just realize that someone's you know wanted to have a child via this this way of through a community of using a sperm donor which they've only just really come across the idea of or they're pointed in that right direction and then you know they've got this hope that they're finally gonna you know have a child and then it's the realization that um, it's no longer going to happen. So, part of the kits have traditionally just been, uh, you know, just, you know, getting pregnant. And a lot of the kits, you know, you don't use, like, you know, some people want to ring, you know, mail out and go, hey, Adam, when, when's it arriving? Because, you know, I'm wondering, you know, is, is, if it's gonna arrive in time, because we bought it three days out before I was due to ovulate. Uh, look, don't leave it that late, people. It's a, it's a preparation kit. You should be using those ovulation um, strips um, prior to working out, you know, how, how your body matches um, in accordance with strips to your app and months prior, even in the preparation work. Um, so anyhow, it decided to add uh, an FSH strip, which is a follicle stimulating hormone uh, strip. Uh, this, when you go to the doctors or specialists, uh, they can test for your AMH levels, your FSH, uh, and a transfer that um, vaginal. Uh, which uh, ultrasound, which you know, obviously will show you what um, eggs and the follicles are getting developed um, to give you an indication. Obviously, female uh, fertility is more more harder to uh, analyze than uh, obviously a, a simple sperm count that men um, are able to do. But you know, if you're deciding that you know. Uh, that it's something that you might be a few months away or a year away, uh, something like, and you haven't had your fertility testing done yet, something like these strips, are, uh, you know, it could be a peace of mind. You know, if you go in there and, you know, you've, you've done this one, one of these strips, you know, it's pretty, m it's, it's easy. It's, um, you know, you open it up, This one's so this one's just so you open it up, you get your gear on.
you'll see on here that it says max. So when you dip it, your urine in, uh, in a specimen jar or a cup or whatever you have, make sure it doesn't go past that line. Now, when you put it in here like this, and you hold it there for about three to 10 seconds, which I didn't count because I'm trying to multitask being a grower and that's, I'm a suck, but I say that's 10 seconds. Uh, you put it on a non-absorbent um, uh, ground, so you don't put it in like a tissue or something like that. Uh, on top of here is perfect. Now, this is just an example because being a male, I don't have uh, FSH, and and if I did, it probably I'd probably um, think I've got cancer or something like that. Uh, so <laughs> uh, it'd be worrying if I did res um, get a positive. But if you got a, a positive on one of these strips, they're all pretty much the same. These types of strips it doesn't matter if it's ovulation uh, or anything. If you get a, you know, it'll tell you the two lines. Obviously. Uh, a positive on an FSH um, strip is not good news as opposed to a pregnancy strip that gets two lines or an ovulation strip that gets two lines, which normally means general, um, you know, if you have FSH uh, hormone in your urine to a level above 25, um, uh, that they, that's the, what they, uh, 25 IU per mil which they call that the sensitivity, sensi um, sensitivity. Uh, then you could be entering menopause, premenopause, or you may even have polycystic ovary syndrome. So, of course, I recommend people going and getting your fertility tested by a doctor and going to a fertility uh, specialist first. But going and getting this tested uh, through one of the kits, buy one of the kits, you're gonna use this method I, probably anyway. And uh, for your peace of mind, if it comes up negative, uh, you, you know, you at least you know you're not in a, a situation that it's, uh, you know, you're uh, really, um, you know, need to rush and get things done. So you, you, can, you can focus on perhaps doing that extra holiday or going to that wedding again when, you know, blah, blah, and so forth. Uh, so look, I think, you know, adding this sort of thing, because I mean, sometimes we have the misconception as well, like you might be in your early 30s and you might be going through early menopause or some people in their 20s go through early menopause as well. So it's a test that uh, everyone can do and uh, it's just a, it's just really, um, you know, it's a, it's a saving grace, I guess, um, because, and I'm incorporating it in the, kits because yeah I just really don't want to see uh, people missing out on the ability to have a child and uh, you know and with something like this little strip um, that can make a difference uh, whether or not you have a baby or not in your life uh, from maybe having to act a bit earlier than you were planning to um, then I think you know I think it's uh, it's uh, it's a good thing, and uh, it can save a lot of trauma and sadness and grieving. Because uh, yeah, a lot of uh, women that have you know come to that realization have had some really horrible emotional experiences to get over. And uh, yeah, so anyway, this is um, this is my results. I haven't. Um, I haven't hit menopausal yet, so <laughs> um, oh, I'm still good to go. But you know, obviously, you're in all seriousness. Um, you know, when you get these kits, this is probably one of the first steps you want to do. Is um, you know, try this one. Uh, most people I know they do blood tests for FSH on you know your second or third day, ideally your third day of your new cycle, which is normally why you're still. Um, in your menstrual cycle um, but you know so ideally you'd probably do the FSH test uh, strip on the you know on the third day of your cycle and uh, yeah so look um, good luck
and I hope that you don't get these positive lines, but it's a good peace of mind. So anyway, out of here. Catches.